Hey everybody, I'm Christian Wofford, and you're listening to Ball from Assembly Hall, episode 11. I'm proud to tell you that I'm Underdog Sports' newest partner. On top of that, I've got even better news. They are currently they are currently running a promo for all new users. The easiest way to get in on this is special by downloading their app and using my code BFAH24. Even if you've already registered but haven't deposited, you can still use the promo. What are you waiting for? Get started today. Come play along with me all season long at Underdog Sports. We back, baby. Another episode of Ball from Assembly Hall. I'm not even sure what episode this is, man. We've been kind of quiet on you guys. Uh, to be quite honest, you know, it just ain't really been too much to talk about. Um, but now, you know, we're starting to see some positives. We're starting to see some things trend in the right direction. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. What's going on, Derek? Talk, talk to me, baby. How man, you see what? It's been five months, baby. I just started getting back in the gym. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, health is wealth, man. Get back in the gym, man. Got to get back in the gym, Derek. That's all we know. I know. You know? I know. It was no sleep. Which it was. I'm, I'm finally I'm finally getting there. Emmy sleeping through the night. I get back in the gym first time in about five months. I'm a new man over here. Okay, okay. Get, that, get, that, get it, rid of that flab. I see. You guys make it look like it's easy work over there. <laughs> nah, man, we got a lot, you know. Got some help over here, bro. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Things been good though. Things been do I was actually um just got a got just got our ears pierced today. So that's what I was out Come doing. That's on. why I told you it might be a little minute. But but we got that done, man. But you know, other than that, everything been good, good. bro. Jeez. I need to get Parker's. Well, man, we're gonna Come jump. On. You got yo, oh, she ain't got a, she ain't got a no, ear pierced. I might yet? get mine I might get mine pierced again to join her. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Go on, go on get right. <laughs> We back, man. Um, fresh off a of, fresh off a of big time win at Minnesota on the road in the in the barn. You know how that go. Um, good win. Uh, tell me what you thought about it, man. I thought our guys looked great. I let you uh, jump into it a little bit, but I'm I'm, I'm starting to like what I'm seeing, there. man. You know, it's, it's around that time, man. It's March. Here we go. We we've been saying it all year. See, why trend in the right direction at the right time, and I think we are. And I'm gonna go back right. even before the game, man. I want to shout out to Scott Dolson, man. I think, uh, you know. With every sure. with everything that we've said on the podcast, and and if you guys maybe this is your first time tuning in, you know we had a podcast a couple of weeks ago that just blew up, and mm-hmm. I, you know a lot of fans were talking about what they were going, what they wanted to see with a new coach, and they wanted Woody out. But shout out to Scott Dolson, man, to come in and to say it right away, right that Woody's here to stay. Uh, Woody goes on there and mm-hmm. said, you know, I'm comfortable in my skin. I don't care about what anybody else says. I'm I'm coaching this team. And I think it was a perfect message. I think it was a perfect time, recruiting wise, player wise, to realize like my man is here for one more year. And you said it last time we got on this episode, see, about talking about like what he's done. And in right. two years, he's had two, I mean, they weren't the greatest showings in the tournament, but he's been to the tournament twice. Right. Um, you know, mm-hmm. he's had a season that hasn't necessarily gone the way that he wanted it to, but that's college basketball. Like, all it takes is right. one injury, one player to go down, like, and the season just flips on its head. So, you know, he's had some good years here. Uh, they came out and said that he's he's the man that's steering the ship, and we've gone on a three-game heater. Like, I don't know about you, C, but I'm finally seeing, like, this team looks like it's having fun, and I don't know if it's because, you know, they, they're playing with the mindset that we're playing with house money. Um, you know, right. guys are healthy, so we've got a full team out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just seeing a, a different team, and we're clicking at the right time of the year. And so it's just it, it's right. fun basketball to watch. I mean, there's still some instances where we've gone down 16 points, 15 points, and we've made unbelievable comebacks, but, like, the question has never been, do we have the right product on the floor? We've got good players on the floor. It's just about connecting, and we're starting to really see that, and it's been fun to watch. Yeah, man, no doubt. Um, As far as the um, Woody thing with Scott Dawson, man, I do want to shout out Scott Dawson for that as well. I, I just think more so than anything, Derek, this is big for recruiting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, nobody wants to go yes. go to a place where they don't know where the coach is going to be. They don't know. You know, I'm sure McNeely is seeing everything yep. just like we see in it. 
you know, everybody's probably adding him, like, bro, open recruitment back up, um, but he's not going to be there, those type of things. So I think it was good to get ahead of that. And, I, and, you know, with them doing that, I think it just brings everybody together. You know what I'm saying? I think it, I think it, it, it brings a closeness, and we can see it on these guys' floor. On, on, you see it, see it on in these, in, that, in these guys' play. You know what I'm saying? When they get on the floor, um, like you said, bro, we look like we having fun. We getting out. We pushing the ball in transition. Um, and the main thing is, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I mean, I know people been giving Coach Woody a lot of slack for it, and you know, blaming stuff on X or, or you know, he's saying he need X, and I and I agree, bro. Like we. We've lived, this is the best X we've seen in these last three games, and look what it's done for us. We look like a totally yeah. different team. Uh, we got guys in the right spots. We're getting more effective play from Galloway. we getting M- M- McKenzie and Baco is playing at a high level right now. He's probably playing the best. You know, he's made the best strides I've seen probably from a freshman, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in a long time, just yeah. from start to finish. Uh, you know, a kid that looked like a deer in the headlights at the start of the year, where he's at right now, the way he's playing confident. And see, you got to shout out to the coaching staff because they always let him play through his mistakes and didn't really, you know, hinder him in a way as far as putting the ball in the hole. And that's what he does. That's what he's been comfortable doing. So I, I go on to say, man, I think we we need to do everything we can to um, keep this guy around. And, you know, I think it, it, it'll definitely be his year next year um, for us and for him, you know, getting to the next level. I think he's made tremendous strides, bro, and I'm happy for him. I'm happy to see the way we're playing now. Um, we pushing the basketball. I think that's a lot. That has a lot to do with uh, what we're doing. You know, we still turning the ball over, still making mistakes. Uh, but that's part yeah. of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But right now, but right now, like where we at in the Big Ten, bro? We're the hunter. You know what I'm saying? We're not the yeah. hunting. Everybody, we're going to get people there, and we know how far yeah, that man. is, bro. When nobody expect, when nobody expect you to win, bro, it's like going in on the road, spoiling somebody's senior oh. night. Like that shit is just that so shit is just fun. fun. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm fun. saying? I think. I think that's that's what these guys are doing right now, bro. I'm happy to see I mean, there's so many avenues that we could go down with this episode. And and, and what I want to talk about here probably needs its own episode, maybe even a little closer to the end of the season. But, like, you've got Trey Galloway, who just joined a list of four unbelievable IU basketball players with having three games of 11 assists. And he did it last night against Minnesota. I mean – the guy's pushing the ball, mm-hmm. like you said. He's pushing the ball. He's a facilitator. He's not looking to score right now. And one of the main mm-hmm. reasons why is because Indiana fans, man, I'm sorry, but we we have seen the last of Khalil Ware. We have. Oh, yeah. It's over. It's over. My man has had – there was a couple instances there probably closer to the latter part of this season where he's kind of faded away a little bit. Uh, a few games that stand out against Ohio State, especially it looked like he had somewhere to be. But here recently, this dude is as dominant as you could want. And no last doubt. night he puts up and he, he puts up twenty six and eleven, and he just makes it look so easy. Right. And I don't care who you go. Made it look against. so easy, dude. And and I, I think he's becoming smarter. Like we said, we've seen we've seen Woody trusting him with uh, two fouls, yeah. leaving him in the game. I think that was that was big. That was big time for us. Uh, we've seen. We're seeing growth, man. I think uh, as we ended the last episode, Derek, I think, you know, we just we just talked about, hey, let's just try to get some momentum. Yeah. And boy, do we have right. it right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody really wants to play us um, in March. I mean, we're we finna get ready. We got one more game, then we're finna get ready to head into tournament play. Um, we'll see our seeding. But who's to say if we, you know, get to the championship, we might not get on the bubble right, right in. Like, you never, you never know. I mean, I was on the bubble right now. They got nine wins. Um, we got eight wins right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So well, we got seven or eight. I think eight. I think eight gave us – I think last night gave us eight, man. So, But anyway, we got a chance, bro. It's always a chance when you're playing Power 5 basketball and you have, you know, a chance to get to the tournament. We're going to play some big teams. And, and who who knows what could happen, man. I, I feel good going into it. But more so than anything, I just like the way we're trending yeah. right now. And, and, you know, Michigan State for us being a team that's like – I think they had them last night. I saw like an eight or nine seed. You know, we've got them coming up right. at home. I mean, if we win out, see, there's a chance we play. I mean, there's a chance we play Friday, meaning we get a game. We get right. a team that's either played for two days or played last night. Then you run into like right. a, a Wisconsin who we've beaten, match up really well to an Illinois team that didn't see us with Khalil where he was injured, so we didn't get to have him on the court when we played them. And then like – a yeah. Northwestern who's already beat Purdue, like the way the tournament shakes up, man, you never know what could happen. So 
You 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 never you never know in March, bro. It's that time of the year, so, bro. It's that, it's that time, man. But I do agree with you, Derek. I think it's over with for Khalil yeah. Ware, bro. I mean, he's been, yeah. bro. He's been scoring. He's been rebounding. He's been impacting the game. Uh, he's swallowing up those rebounds, bro. I'm talking about in traffic. Um, you know, being efficient, stepping out, shooting the three ball a yeah. little bit, making man. It's just he's just been dominant, a dominant force for us down there, protecting the rim. And altering shots at the rim, more so than even protecting them, bro. He's 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 doing a lot of great things for us, bro. And I think that's what that's you know that's what we envision him. That's what the coaching staff envision him being. I don't think from the beginning, I don't think um, people expected the coaching staff expected him to be around another year. Right. I think this kid right. could have this kid probably could have entered the draft last year and been a first round pick just off potential. You know what I'm saying? So um, he wanted to get better. I think he's gotten better. I think he showed more. So I think this guy, you know, has a chance to be in the in, the, in the early in the first round, maybe in the lottery. You know, you never you never know how um, the NBA will fall in love with you once you go to the combine and do a lot of right things. And we had, you know, here Woody took a little. He took another. Oh, I want to say a step back. I don't really know what was going on with the situation, and and I haven't really talked about Brian. I haven't talked with Brian about this, um, and I really don't care to. But the state finals. Um, you know, the run the state started here in Indiana and the first night mm-hmm. out, uh, we didn't have any IU guys um, on the road recruiting. Um, and I know that seems like a bad look, uh, you know, especially when Painter just had gotten down with a game. He was on the road. Shrewsbury was on the road. Uh, so I don't really know what right. the story is there. But I think the biggest thing for recruiting right now is – for kids to see that a guy like Khalil Ware with all the baggage that he came into Indiana with, if mm-hmm. Woody can get him to be a first round draft pick, I mean that speaks volumes for for everything. And and the thing that I wanted to talk about when um, you know, I think needed its own episode was, you know, I think Woody's biggest thing at the end of the season is gonna be, you know, first you gotta recruit the team, right? Because you've got Khalil mm-hmm. who's going to take off. I'm sure Mbako is going to get in there and, and get a couple of workouts. And, you know, hopefully. For sure. He's going to test yeah. the waters. He's going to test yeah. the waters. And, you and, know? and I think, you know, hopefully my my hope is that he doesn't try to leave and, you know, go the G League route. I hope he comes back. Hey, man, I hope I hope he doesn't. Bro. I was telling, I was talking to the coaching staff and talking to y'all, man. And I was just like, bro, we got to do whatever it takes right. you do. to get this kid You do. Back. You know, and, 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 like, like. And with that, like. We, re- we really have to, bro. Like, you know, it's going to be I, it's going to be a revolving door for some of them. Some of them going to get out of there, dig, which I I don't, which I agree. Some of them, some of them don't right. belong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said that last episode. There's some of them that don't belong. So I, I really, it's going to be, it's going to be, a, it's going to be interesting to see the way this thing, where our roster shape out. Um, the way, but I know, I do know for a fact that ain't no denying that we're going to have to hit the transfer portal very. No, hard. no doubt, no doubt. You got to find somebody who, who, you know, can. I mean, I know we need another Khalil Ware. I don't know if they're – I mean, they're not a dime a dozen. They're, there's not a lot of Khalil mm-hmm. Wares out there. But, you know, talking with Brian, you know, he had mentioned that there was 11 NBA scouts in the game versus Wisconsin. They were all there to see him. So I think that's huge. You know, I, mm-hmm. I don't know if recruits really hear that. But, you know, for him to get the exposure that he's getting and for recruits mm-hmm. to see that, yes, he is going to take off and he's, he's going to be – um, you know, he's going to be drafted in the NBA. I think that speaks volumes for Woody. And then, you know, to your point, like, yeah, once you realize he's gone, okay, so you've got Mbako, maybe Galloway comes back for his sixth year, his COVID year. You've got Cups, you've for got sure. Mbako, you've got Renew. Like, bro, I this team needs like a, you know, we missed out on Dalton Connect. Uh, we missed out on Caleb Love. Like, we need just one Talk about Don Connect, bro. He is nice, bro, bro. Bro, I did not know he was that nice there. I want to give a shout out to him, bro. He is a hell of a player, man. Tennessee, man. He doing, and I'm talking about. I love the way they use him. I love the way they playing him. Um, you know, a, a guy that can get him up, score, bro. He he's nice. And not not just nice. not just because I'm biased, but like player of the year, bro. I get Zach, dominant, sure. but like my man scores at will. He does it however he wants to do it. And he's playing on a team that's that's, that's, that's a top team. You know what I'm saying? That's a top top team as well. So 
But I'm sure Edie gonna get that. We know yeah. we know Edie gonna got that sold up, bro. That's yeah. a lot. I mean, but uh, pretty much. But to your point, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think recruiting wise, coming up, like the the portal is gonna be huge for this team. And I think go, point guard is obviously one that we really need to get. We need to find a guy who's just a knockdown shooter. But if you think about the names that I just rattled off, like thinking into next season, using whatever whatever happens at the end of this season, it finished on a high note, no matter what. Like winning the last three, hopefully you get this Michigan State game. Hopefully it's four. It should be four, which I think we got a great chance of winning I four. think we do. And I think, we, and like you said, it's a yeah. toss-up when you get to the tournament. So however this shapes up, like from day one, you've got to recruit the team. And the portal, man, the portal is a – it's a bitch, bro. Like you got to be able to have money on hand because that's just what it is to get an absolute right, no dog doubt. in the portal. And we might be talking about a really fun season next year. Not to, not you know, not to jump ahead too much, but we've got the pieces, man. We've seen yeah, it. yeah, we, we we've seen it. We got to, um, you know, we got to get better. We got to get better in some areas, and I know the coaching staff gonna do that, man. I know they feel like they. You know, possibly made some mistakes here and there um, that cost us a couple games here and there, man. So I think I'm I'm looking forward to it, bro. Um, but you like you're right, bro. We got to keep the guys around. We got to have Galloway back. I know, which I'm pretty sure he'll come back. You know, a guy. And that's another guy that you talk about in IL, and you want to take care of your own. You know what I'm saying? More so than anything, bro. You want to take care of your own. You want to take care of people that that know what it means to put that jersey on. You want to take care of those guys because they just mean so much to the program. Um, they're leaders. Yeah. Um, they've been through it, and, and you know you definitely got to take care of those guys. So, if Galloway coming back, um, you know if we got to do anything, like I said, we got to do whatever we got to do to get Mbako back. Um, who else, Derek? Who Renew. else? Who else come? You obviously gave Cup, gave gave Cups to be back. Renew will be back. Um, you know, we're, which Renew should probably he'll probably test as well. Another guy that you know maybe 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 get out there and try to see what just. You know, see see what's out there, get some feedback and stuff like that, man. So, I'm I'm just excited, bro. I'm excited for the future. I'm like 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 we said at the beginning, we got Scott Dawson went up, went ahead and solidified and let people know, man. Hey, Woody, Woody not going right. nowhere. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And then you throw into the piece Liam. I think Liam's going to be huge right. for this. Hopefully, you know, you don't want to. That's what Indiana does, and I don't want to do it. But I don't I don't want to put too Let's much pressure on the kid coming in. But. I yeah. mean, from what I've seen, the kid can go. So just, I don't know. See, the fact that we've been talking about this, like the fact that this team and we're talking about like, man, I, I don't know if we're just the craziest optimistic two there is out there. But like <laughs> the fact that we're talking about there's a chance that something crazy happens in the tournament is crazy just because, you know, we've seen the lows and lows here. I mean – We've seen it though. I've seen I've seen it happen. We've seen it happen. We've been watching college basketball for a long time, man. And we said it at the beginning, bro. You regardless of however things may shake out, you want to be playing your best basketball in March. And we doing that. And you know, I know it's been a rock and roll. I, I mean, I know it's been a roller coaster. I know it's been up and downs, but that's just the way that's just the way it is sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And we stuck beside him. And I think. I just think things are going are trending in the right direction right now. Does that mean we're going to win the Big Ten tournament? No, but I, I feel good going into every. I feel good playing against any team no, right now. Put it that way. Any 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 one of them. We know the Big, Big Ten is just not just this year. It's not just the strongest conference we've seen in the last. Well, we got two ranked teams. We got Illinois and Purdue. Those are the only two ranked teams we got in the conference right now. Everybody else has been up and down. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say anybody can be yeah. beat. And I know that's that's probably the message going into every game from now on with us. Uh, but if we just be the best version of ourselves, but we, we we're a tough team awesome. to beat. Yeah, and we're putting up numbers too. I mean, we're starting to shoot the ball well. I mean, we're handling the rock. I know we've got some silly turnovers. Um, and here here recently, you know, after last night's game, man, uh, Anthony Walker, man. Hopefully, he's not. As yeah, man. I seen that. Um, I seen when he came back out. Was he on crutches when he came out? When he came I, back out, I saw the little thing that he did. I just seen. I just seen him sitting down. I, yeah, I seen what happened, but I did, I just seen him sitting down. I didn't know if he was on. Yeah, crutches hopefully it's nothing serious. But like, if we can keep this team intact, man, like you said, we said it all episode. Like this, this could be an interesting little run at the end of the season. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm just I'm excited to watch. Like I'm excited to watch the way we've been playing the last three, even four games. Like you know. 
I, I just I like yeah. what, I like where things are trending. I like what I like what we're doing. I, I like that we put out there that this guy is 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 running the ship. Like all the right things have been said. So and, and it shows. Like every night here here recently, every night just come out and it's like yeah we we've taken some dips, but even with those dips, we've had some serious serious comes back. We still, so, we still yeah no doubt we still here fighting, bro. And I think that's a testament to who the coaching staff for is. I think that's a testament to Woody. He's still getting through to these guys. Like I told him, we still he's still getting through to these guys. These guys still going out fighting for him. Um, he's still holding guys accountable. I see him still getting getting on people um, for you know for the things and stuff like that. So I just think this group is still locked in. Yeah. You know, and as long as and as long as everybody's still locked in, and you know, Derek, once everybody's in the locker room, believe that's all you need is the locker yeah. room. Block out the right. outside noise. None of that. None of that matters. As long as you believe in the locker room. You got you got a yeah. chance, and you got and I think we got enough players and we got enough talent to where we can make make a real push. It and I think even I think for us, our jobs is, is to do all the Twitter search, not for those guys. And if you have you been, yeah. you've been paying attention to Twitter, like no doubt about you'd it, you'd be surprised, man, how many of these people are like, oh wait a minute, like this is mm -hmm. fun to watch now all of a sudden. So I mean that's that comes yeah. with it, man. That's the highs and lows, man. It, the same thing happens to Duke, North Carolina, like. Michigan State, what they're going right. through right now, starting the season ranked off number four, and now they're talking about uh, yeah. it's it's getting rocky. Fighting. They're, they're fighting. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, it's getting rocky for them. They're fighting. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, no doubt about it. And I think um, I'm just I'm just excited, bro. I think um, I'm, I'm I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the future. Man, I hope we get. I hope I hope Indiana fans. I hope we uh, as as hosts here on the show get to see this in live action out in Minnesota. I really do. Yeah, no doubt. That, that, that'll be fun, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. But I think that pretty much concludes our episode. Yeah. Um, we'll talk a little bit about later on. We'll talk a little bit about just our matchup and stuff like that once we once we figure out who we play playing, once the brackets are set, and we'll, we'll talk about our road to the to the championship of the Big Ten, man, baby. See if we can steal yeah. one. I know we ain't won it. That's that. right. When, have we ever never, won the tournament never. there? Have we ever? Never yeah. won. Man, why not? That's right. crazy, bro. But so why not us? Why, why not? Why not? Why not us, man? Go, go let's go win that thing, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll take a, we'll take an automatic. No kidding. Sure. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So I think that's included, bro. But always nice talking to you basketball. With yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank. You. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys supporting. Yep. Me.